Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Wonder Home at Nottingley and I'm going to be reviewing two caravans. This one, which is the dealer special Coachman Wanderer 22 FB for fixed bed, and this one over here, the Coachman Wanderer 22 BB, the bunk bed version. I'm going to review both of these caravans in one vlog simply because they are almost identical in size and layout apart from one has the fixed bed which is this one and the other one has the bunk bed so there'll be two for the price of one in this one both for five berth caravans both dealer specials so what do we need to know about them well let me swing you around while i tell you a few bits and pieces so this one here is the coachman wanderer 22 fb it's based on the Coachman Arcadia Extra 660 model. So if you want to know more, you can look on the Coachman website. And the bunk bed model, the BB over there, is based on the Arcadia 630 Extra. So sizes, weights, measurements, and all the rest of it, what do we need to know? It is the Coachman Extra, so it is an eight foot wide caravan, and we can see that on the front here. They're both eight foot wide models. In terms of the size, they're both twin axles, lengthwise 7 metres and 89 centimetres, or for those of you that like it in feet, 25 feet and 11 inches. What's impressive about this caravan, or both the caravans, is their payload and weights. So, we have a nose weight of 100 kilos, so you have to make sure your car will take that. And we do have the ATC. In terms of payload, so the MTPLM of the this caravan, of both of them, is 1,785 kilos. And you're going to get a standard payload of 170 kilos. That's a pretty good payload. If you want to upplate, you can to 1,900 kilos, as long as your tow car can take it. And that'll give you a huge payload of 285 kilos kilograms so it's certainly worth considering um, an up plate to that 1900 but otherwise 170 kilo payload still very good price wise that's what we always want to know so as i say it's based on the arcadia now the arcadia is the entry level for coachman but when i say entry level arcadia isn't that entry to be honest it's mid-range on all of the across the manufacturers so it is a really good base but price wise this does come with um additional extras on top of a standard arcadia and for 2023 the price is going to be approximately thirty-seven thousand pounds but that's subject to confirmation so on the front i've already shown you a, a little bit of a look let's say eight foot wide it's a nice family caravan is this one we've got that huge sunroof up there on the top there is an aerial i don't believe there's solar as standard we then got the three windows here and two front lockers and in there we're going to be putting our gas bottle it is on the alco chassis with the alco hitch it does have the atc as i said i'll go down the near side first now the wanderer uh, special edition has got the beautiful silver sides. I absolutely love silver sides. It just gives it more of a wow factor. What we're going to find is we've got our whale gas point here. So that's an external gas for barbecuing. And there's also a 230 volt socket, which is that one there. So if you wanted to plug in any electrical devices outside, such as a teppanyaki or television in the awning, you have got that feature to do that. So as you come down the sides, as we can see, we've got the awning light above the door, the door on the near side. It's a one piece door. We do get a bin in there and we do have a blind for privacy, which is just there for you. Coming further down, now we've got the two alloy wheels. They do have the Alco receivers, which are these yellow plugs that you can probably see there you don't get the alco wheel locks as standard you would have to purchase those separately they used to be about 180 pounds i don't know what they are these days you'd have to check with the accessory shop there's a window looking into the kitchen the decals on this we've got nice silver and blue then we've got our dometic tower fridge and freeze events that we can see there so we'll have a look when we go in we then have a storage locker that's under the fixed bed that we'll have a look at and we've got a good size window as well into the bedroom so that is the near side of the wanderer 22 fb good looking very good looking i must say 
come round the back so at the back end of the dealer special it's a white one piece back end we've got the grab handles the lights we've got a high rise brake light up there all these lights as far as i'm aware are led we'll continue round onto the off side so coming round off side now at the back here on the off side corner we can see our toilet cassette and the flush filler for the toilet so you'll have to fill that up yourself we've got a glazed window into what's going to be the bathroom there and then coming down we've got a window into the dinette area which is just here and we've also what i do like is we've got a service light here so on the off side there's a service light which is really handy because on a night if you do have to go out uh, to fill the water up or to uh, check your electric you've got our electric hookup and battery box there then this area is all illuminated so it makes it easier to deal with your services on a, a dark evening we have got our water point here whale water point and we've got the alder vent there because we do have uh, the alder wet central heating system which obviously for £37,000 I would definitely want to see Alder. So that's the exterior. So out here what are we getting? We're getting the eight foot wide, the silver sides, we've got an aerial, we've got some good payload, we've we've got a beautiful looking caravan to be totally honest. It, it does look nice and it looks solid, um, that's what I'd say about it. So let's venture inside and see what we're getting in this five berth uh, family layout. So in we go. I always like going into coachmans because they always they always have a bit of a wow factor, even these entry level ones. So let's come in. So here we are. So this is the lounge area without stating completely the obvious. But with it being eight feet wide, we've got a good size lounge and this has got the wrap around. Now, I do like this. I'm not always a fan of the L shapes because you do lose uh, space to relax, but not a problem in this family layout because We've also got the dinette as well, so a bonus, but we'll come back to that in a minute. So going back to this lounge area, what are we going to get? We're getting six foot five headroom. We're getting this sunroof here, which does obviously have the blinds, and we're getting the big sunroof. I, I love this Coachman sunroof, absolutely beautiful. It does have a pull down blind, which I'll just show you there. So on a warm day, no problem at all. Pull that back up. We then get the, the nice windows, lovely side windows. This, uh, the Arcadia model does have the lighter wood contrasted with the darker uh, finishing. So it does complement itself quite well. Really well illuminated, lots of lighting. So on here, this is where we're going to find uh, a place to put our television. I'll just see what we've got. So under here, if you can see, it might be a bit dark. There is a plug socket and the aerial socket just under there the wires will then come up through here and you'll put your television on there so you could get a really good size telly on there if you wanted to do that we've got the pioneer speakers you may be able to see those because this caravan does come with a radio the uh, the slot for it is just there so you are getting that this is a really good size um, lounge area this will convert into one huge bed which i think is around six foot five long and oh just under five feet in width as far as i know uh, off the top of my head there we do have lots of lighting in here it's a really nice area well illuminated and we're getting some good storage as well so let's have a look at that so we've got a good storage locker here some good depth to it and it's nice that we're getting a shelf in there as well there's also then some little compartments these just drop down here i'm not sure what you've put in there really they're not all that easy to access to be honest but they're there nonetheless and then on the other side we've got another couple of cupboards as well again not bad size the tv aerial is coming into this one here so i'll just close those up so that's the lounge area um on this dealer special nice the fabric is sort of a, a coarse gray it feels like it certainly take a bit of wear and tear um what i'll do is if we just look up here as we come in the door this is our alder control panel that one there that's for your heating your wet central heating and water 
and then we've got the coachman control panel for the lighting and the water and your battery levels and what have you that's that one there as you can see so that is the lounge area that'll convert into a large double bed and give you two berths then we'll come through into this area here now what i really like about this is as a family it's nice to give you these different areas we've got the table here now this table it does drop down i'll just move down so you can have a look you can see the handle there so you can lower that and this is going to convert into a bed as well in terms of the size of this it's six feet and one inch in length and it's three feet and four inches in depth so that is actually going to make one bed although you could probably get uh, a couple of children on there quite easily so if you wanted to use it as a six berth that would be perfectly doable if your children are quite young but again lovely little lovely little area nice um, solid table for eating at there is a table as well um, that goes in the lounge area so if you want to eat in here you can do that as well you haven't just got this space let's have a look at these cupboards I'll just have to clamber over so stand by hopefully I won't fall out through that window right so here we go what I like about these is although they're not massively deep we've got a good height on them um, I'd say certainly about 18 inches in height there would estimate so there's three of those so if you do up plate and you've got that big payload there's plenty of space up there for all the stuff four five people or even six all the stuff for for the family i'll just close those down so yeah i must say i do i do quite like this as a family layout there we go right so that's our lounge that's our little dining area and now the kitchen so let's come and have a look at this i'm always i'm always quite taken by coachman kitchens they always do a good job the only thing they never do a good job with is putting the microwave over the hob in every single one of them but other than that can't complain so first of all what I, what i would say i'm i'm missing straight away is i would like a flap here with some extra worktop space because although you have got some worktop space there and you have got this table i think for cooking and preparation if, if your family are sat here waiting to eat then that's not going to be very practical so yeah it would be nice to see the additional flap on the side there we do have a single plug socket here this nice finish on the worktop i must say and then the sink with the cover Obviously, you must put that down when you're towing. But if we lift that up, so that gives us an idea of our sink space. We've got a nice tap that'll swivel round. So that's a nice finish on that. I'll just close that down. And then we'll start up here. So we've got our cupboard space. Now that's just one big empty cupboard. That one, yeah, it's got some racks in it, which you'd like to see. So that's where your plates are going to go. And that's where all your crisp chocolate and all that sort of rubbish that I buy would go. Or healthy food, obviously, if that's uh, what you like. Then we've got our Russell Hobbs microwave. It's an 800 watt microwave. Not a bad height at all. Obviously, I'm only short and that's fine. As I say, it is over the hob, um, which is the only thing you must be careful of. If we lift this... Again, nice to see that we do have an electric plate, which is this one here. So you can use electric if you're on the hookup. We've got three gas burners and then the gas grill and gas oven. I do like uh, the Thetford appliances. And there's a little bit of storage just down here, just under there. I'm not sure how well that'll come up with it being a bit dark there. And then as we move along, we've got a nice draw there for our cutlery and bits and pieces and then under here we've got a little bit more storage too in the kitchen maybe put your pans and what have you in there but yeah it goes a long way back as well I don't know if you can how well you can see that but that goes nicely back just close those up and then over here we've got a little bit more storage and a pull out drawer as well there so yeah not bad not a bad use of the space um so there we go that's that one there 
Right, so that's the kitchen area and we'll just move down to the end here where we're going to find, this will probably be the table for the lounge that I told you about. Yeah, so that's stored in there. I must say, um, I've only got little arms and uh, that's quite a tight little space. So yeah, if you've, if, you've got, if you've got a big arm and a big hand, you might want to find somebody who's got a little one to get that out for you. So there we go. So that's the kitchen area um in the 22 fb nice i like it i like the splashback i like the top um it looks nice i must say and then what we're going to do is we're just going to venture back and look here at the fridge freezer next so let's just trot this way further back so this is a dometic fridge freezer it's a tower fridge freezer 133 liters you're going to get in here so i'll open that up so the Dometic Tower Fridge Freezer. We start with the freezer compartment at the top. I don't know if I'll be able to... Yeah, there we go. So that's a good size. If you have got a family of five or six, you definitely need to consider that fridges and freezers are really important, um, even as a couple. So the bigger the better in terms of fridges and freezers. That's, that's certainly been my experience. And this is the one that opens on both sides. So your kids will love that. They'll think it's like a magic trick if they're that easily impressed. Um, so that's that. And then down here, there's just a little storage cupboard underneath. I will just show you it because we all like to see the bits and bobs, don't we? So there we go. Okay, so that that is the living space. To separate the living space, there is, um, if you can just see here, a privacy curtain here. That's going to pull across as if by magic and it will attach just here so that is going to i'll just move back and show you on the ceiling you can see the track for that there so that is going to separate those living areas and if we look back from the bedroom it gives you an idea of this this amazing living space it's absolutely huge you know if i was a family of you know two three four five six I'd be really happy with that. That is a fantastic space. And already we've got um, three of the berths uh, there that I've told you about. So let's now uh, look at this uh, bedroom space back here. So we'll start with the bed. Fixed bed, some people call it a French bed. Uh, these used to be really popular layouts, but they've, they've sort of gone out of fashion a little bit. And, and instead it's now the island bed that's taken over. Lengthwise, this bed is six foot two in length. And I believe it's four foot four in width. Now, what you must think about though is because you have a cut off here, you will lose some space on that six foot two there. Um, and whoever sleeps on that side, if you want to get out on a night, you are going to have to climb over that person. I think another reason these sort of went a little bit out of fashion was obviously one, you've got to climb over that other person, but trying to get to these cupboards um, is quite challenging. And I'll just show you that. So. We'll start above though, we've got a really nice sunroof above there and that does have a blind on it. A good size window. We've got a television bracket and the plug socket and point there. Um, USBs, we do have USBs in the bedroom on these LED lights, so that's excellent. You definitely want those, I think. But now, to get into these cupboards, I'm actually like having to clamber onto the bed, um, which it never looks good. You know, I'll, I can't even make it look graceful. <laughs> I'm just climbing on them. So there we go. Um, good cupboards, but again, not not got the depth. They're, they're solid. They'll certainly take some weight with these. I'll say that. There's lots of screws. Um, they're well made, um, but they've got the height. So although we haven't particularly got depth, we've got height. And as you know, we just can't win them all, can we? And there's two more, there's two more just up there, but I think, I think you get the idea. So I'll just climb off the bed. So there we go, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? So that, uh, six foot two long and four foot four wide bed. Right, let's move round now. So you've got your family of five or six. Where's your bathroom? It's in here. So if we open this door up, now obviously you can see the bed, the bed has the cut off there to allow for that door to open. I always like coachman bathrooms. 
we'll venture into this one so we'll start um, at the back because it probably is a little bit easier so we've got a really good size shower cubicle and it is good size I'll go step into that in a minute and show you more the only thing I've noticed on this which I've noticed on a, a few coachmen's now is that lip there to get into the shower that's quite a step up so if you you just need to be mindful if you've got mobility issues about stepping into that but otherwise if we go into the cubicle itself um, there we go so we're in the shower now height excellent it is six foot five and there's nothing lost at all in this shower so you've got a huge amount of headroom you've got a little shelf here to put your shower gel on the shower door is um a, a bifold type got the shower head um and yeah good size so that's going to work for any member of the family i would say so that's the shower i'll just step back out a bit now so up here we have got a sunroof for ventilation with blind we've got the frosted glass and blinds there's a little storage cupboard here um, it's very shallow um so you're not going to get much in there but it's there um we've got the fetford swivel toilet we've got the heated towel rail that's part of the alder system and then for move round, we've got the fruit bowl sink nice splashback good size mirror a uh, toothbrush holder a little bit of storage here so toiletry space is limited um and that looks like your toilet roll holder yes it is so i've got a toilet roll holder in the cupboard not not too excited with that if i'm absolutely honest um for hygiene reasons um but yeah so there is um is your storage in there so the compromise there's always a compromise and the compromise on this is that this bathroom is small however it's got everything in that you're going to need there is always a compromise on on every caravan that probably is it to be honest because these are all really good sized beds and berths um so there's certainly no compromise on those you've got a good sized tower fridge freezer you've got your microwave yeah really good right so let's venture back up and just summarize um we'll just have one last look at that living space because as i say it is nice so there we go that is the coachman wanderer 22 fb uh, a dealer special from wonder home it's going to be around i think 37 000 pounds for 2023 to be confirmed but you've got your wet central heating you've got those silver sides we've got we've got a good a good standard in here a finish and and build quality to be absolutely fair to it yeah i like it for a for a family of five or six it's a good one what we'll do now if i don't fall <laughs> don't fall out this caravan uh what we'll do now is we'll go next door into the um in fact i'll just get my bag so stand by we'll go next door into the um the same layout but just diff a different bed style basically because um i want to show you that one but not in a separate separate vlog because i don't think we need to sort of go over it all again basically this is the wanderer 22 bb uh bunk bed so it is absolutely the same as the fb that we've just been in all the sizes weights and measures are exactly the same all the uh, points are the same as you can see down here so everything i've just told you is the same this one is based on the arcadia 630 um, so again if you want to know more you can go onto the coachman website to see what you get as standard on that and then the dealer special has some extras on top of that so now we're in again we've got that eight foot wide we've got exactly the same um lounge as the other model um, we do have the same dining area and we've got the same kitchen what's different with this layout is we're going to find the microwave is here which i actually prefer that to be honest so this is where you as a family may have to decide whether you want a fixed bed or you want the bunk beds so we've got the microwave at this height which i like and then we've got this worktop space here so that gives us a little bit of an addition because we still have the television point there so the bunk bed model is going to give you this little bit more space and a different layout on there otherwise that's the same as we head down we've got the same 133 dometic 
133 litre Dometic fridge freezer which is there but on the offside we're going to get these bunk beds now the bunk beds these are nice these are a good size as far as I know they are at least six foot one long I did read there was a, the literature was a, a little bit confusing I couldn't totally make out because it whether it's six foot five or six foot one so I'd have to actually measure those or confirm with coachman um, but they're a good size and these are solid I don't know the weight limit on them the bottom one probably hasn't got a weight limit top ones often are about 70 to 75 kilograms but there's no um there's no sort of warning sticker that I'd normally look for but you'll, you'd fix your ladder here if you're wondering how you get in here so your ladder goes on there there are two windows which have got blinds um, you just obviously have to be mindful about children getting out of those but I know normally they do have measures to stop that so uh, yeah we've got two windows there good solid bunk beds and they've got these nice little privacy curtains and you can see as well they've got leds i don't know if you can see there and there and they've got usb chargers in them as well so if the kids are on, on the beds or even you you might fancy the bunk beds but whoever's on the bunk beds you've got the usbs there um for charging gadgets and stuff so that's a nice little feature um the i'll just close that for your storage space here I'll just open this we've got a really good size wardrobe so it isn't this one on this doesn't have a light in it on this level on the arcadia based level but the alder wet central heating tanks there so really good wardrobe and then there's a couple of little drawers as well so that's excellent and we do have a plug socket as well just down there as well as you can see there and then the bathroom door opens, so it's a rear washroom. So in this one, um, unlike the fixed bed, where on the fixed bed that we've just seen, we had a bit of a compromise on the bathroom, it was smaller. This is a really good size bathroom. So if a bathroom's more important and you're willing to sacrifice the fixed bed, then the bunk bed could be for you. So let's just have a look around in this one. Again, Coachman bathrooms, they always, for me, they nail it. For the price, they lead the way for a lot of the manufacturers in the UK. So let's have a look. So we'll start in the corner. So this is the back wall of the caravan that we're looking at, just to give you your bearings, obviously. We've got some storage here. Let's have a quick look here. So we've got a nice little cupboard there. Then we've got the frosted window, which does have a blind as well the Thetford toilet and we've got the heated towel rail as part of the Alder system. There is a little um, towel hook thing here and some hooks there. And then we come round, we've got this good size mirror, as you can see. I mean, that's that's really good size. That's at least two feet um, in width. Fruit bowl sink and swivel tap. I like the splashback, I like this effect here, this is nice. We've got the toothbrush holder and then there's the little bit of storage just under there and we do have a toilet roll holder there so it's not in the cupboard like it was on the fixed bed. And then we've got the shower. Now on this shower, instead of it being the bifold door, because it's a bigger one, we've got this single opening door. That just opens, you just have to be careful there when it catches onto the sink. Really good size like the other one i won't step into this because i stepped in before but you get the idea we've got good size no intrusion from any wheel arches because obviously we're at the back we've got somewhere to put shower gels do still have a bit of a lip again there so it's um it's obviously just a coachman uh thing it's something i've noticed when i've reviewed these and then if we just look back up into the 22 bb so we've got the bunk beds really good size and they're, they're really wide as well which i like um obviously wider up that end so head up there and feet down this other end but a good width these are more than suitable for adults and privacy curtains as well and then we've got this lounge and dining area and obviously there is a table for this model as well so that is the uh basically the same caravan but with a different layout so it might give you a bit of a 
a bit of a quandary over which one to pick if you're looking for a five berth family layout. So this is says the Wanderer, which is the Wander Home dealer special with a few extras on top of what you'd normally get as an art for, from the Arcadia. A dealer special is a really good caravan to look at because you're going to get more for your money. Yes, you're going to pay a bit more than a standard Arcadia, but you're getting extras that if you price them yourself would cost more. So they're certainly worth considering. The Arcadia is, is a very well equipped van for the money anyway. Um, and I must say the build again on this is an entry level, although at this price it, it's not entry level, let's be honest. Um, but the build is excellent. Um, I've enjoyed having a look around these two family layouts. Family caravans, not my thing as you know, so you know that's an honest look at them. Um, which one would I choose? Oh, to be honest, it would really come down to how old your children are. Um, how long you think the children will be caravanning with you because this bunk bed model has got a really nice uh, kitchen area it's got the nice bathroom I prefer it but if you're a parent you may well then have to be making up your bed on a night but the only good thing is when you put the kids to bed in the bunk beds then that's it for the fixed bed as a parent you might prefer the fixed bed at the back in which case if you want to watch telly you may have the children up here with you so it's totally how your family work really um yeah it, it'd be it, i'd be split i'd be split on this one but there we go so brilliant i'm really impressed with both of these vans let's say that's the 2023 guesstimate price hopefully i'll just dive out hopefully you've enjoyed having a look around as well and it's um just giving you a bit of an idea on two dealer special five birth family vans so there we go i'm just about done thank you for joining me today as you know been a nice trip out and thank you to wander home at nottingley who've very kindly let me come and film these two reviews for you as well so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one